Hey guys, um, rare back-to-back -back vlog. Um, this isn't, I don't have like any updates to share, but I did have, um, kind of an epiphany today and it felt really important and I know that it's something that I'm gonna wanna look back on. So, um, I thought that I would share and I also wanted to talk, um, a little bit about, and this ties in, but like some insecurities that I've been dealing with because... It's not new, but it's new in a way, which I'll get into. Um, also, my hair is very all over the place right now. I just got out of the shower, which is why I look like this. And um, I think I said this in the last vlog, but my room is a mess because I'm going through a bunch of stuff right now. So there's like papers and stuff. I'm trying to sort, um, like I had this box of stuff that I've that's like writing and art projects and like miscellaneous sentimental stuff from childhood to today and um one thing that I really want to do that I'm looking forward to doing is like putting all my um like organizing my journals by year because um a lot of it is I wrote in like a couple of different journals during the same time frame and so I really want to organize that so I can easily look over it whenever I want to because I honestly really enjoy doing that and I should journal more um, but I just <laughs> don't really sit down and make myself do it. But, um, yeah, so I, I guess I'll just get into it. Um, and this is going to sound really unremarkable. And I, it kind of reminds me of, um, if you guys have ever seen those posts where it's like a guy <laughs> explaining me, explaining something to me, um, that he discovered while he tripped on acid that I knew when I was nine. Like, this is kind of what that feels like, which I think those posts are really funny, by the way. Um and accurate but yeah so I was at my cousin's graduation today very fun went to uh, it was in Chadsford which well it wasn't actually exactly in Chadsford it was like in between Chadsford and Glen Mills um which I love Chadsford I love Brandywine um just because of like the historic aspect of things and I think the architecture is so beautiful like the stone and stuff if that, my dream I don't know if I'd want to, I would love to live in Chadsford, um, but I don't know if I want to stay in PA, I kind of want to get away from here, um, at least for a little bit, but I would love to live in somewhere like Chadsford, and I would love to live in a house that's like the exposed stone, I think that's beautiful, um, but yeah, so we were at this really cool place, and I was sitting down, and it was like a, like you served yourself, so, um, and it was kind of a free-for-all, like you sit wherever. And I was sitting down um, at a table and everyone else was like talking. I was just kind of sitting there. And I was looking at one of my younger cousins who's five, his name is James. And, or no, he's four, he's gonna be five in August. I think he actually, his birthday was, he was born. Um, I think the day that I went to college or maybe like the day before or something. It was like right around when I went to Bloom. Um, but it was so funny, I, I was watching him and he was just like, I could tell, and he wasn't talking to anyone or anything, but I could tell he was just like seeing this whole world play out because he was like talking and imagining things. Um, and like, I could tell that there was just like this whole story going on that I couldn't see. And it was so like fascinating. Um, and that's something that we see kids do all the time, but it was very relevant because something that I've been like, mulling over lately, especially in therapy, is um, like my relationship to my creativity and um, spending time in my head because that was something that I did a lot when I was a teenager. Um, I would like daydream a lot because I was creative and also because I was not super happy. And so um, I remember using that as a coping mechanism a lot. And um, I've talked about before how I really, I was like, I believed in my daydreams so much that, um, and they were super kind of unrealistic, like just completely unattainable. Um, and I had like this idea of who I was going to be by a certain age. And again, it was just not something that would be feasible for anybody. And so when I passed that age, which was, I don't know when I would say, um, it, I don't know, like early 20s I know I'm still in my early 20s but like I would say in the past year this is something that has started to set in I was like oh shit like I didn't like live up to those daydreams and um that was like 
coming down from not a high but it was coming down from something and um it was just like damn that's a lot to take in because those daydreams were were something that kept me alive and so to get past the point that those like I don't know ideas would have happened was very jarring and weird and, and I was very disillusioned um and also too I was at the same time like entering trauma therapy and um learning mindfulness and um it was just like shit I've spent so much time in my head and I felt really guilty about that um and a lot of shame because I just honestly I just felt like an idiot I was like you're stupid for doing that um and thinking that any of that was possible which again shouldn't be the way that I feel about it because it was something that genuinely helped me and kept me alive but um I still just felt really just really stupid like I just felt really stupid felt a lot of shame about it um and then too I was like okay I like creativity is bad like daydreaming is bad you need to be here you need to be in the present um and of course being in the present is good but um there is something to be said about being creative and letting yourself be imaginative and uh that's like a relationship i've been trying to work out over the past year or so um and especially too when you factor in like feeling like you need to measure up to whatever you think an adult is supposed to look like because um and it's you know what's weird is i feel like i'm a lot more insecure in some ways now than i was in high school and I was thinking about why that is, and I think it's because um, when you're in high school and like you see your peers doing stuff, I mean, sure you get like FOMO, fear of missing out, but um, also at the same time, like you're all going to school like for eight hours a day, like you have a pretty big constant part of your life in common. Um, whereas when you graduate and you're kind of left to your own devices, it's up to you to make something of yourself and uh, now you see your peers much less often and with um, social media just kind of displaying the highlights it makes sense that you would tend to over idealize you know what their lives look like because you see them a lot less now and um, also I think the comparison game is probably a lot stronger in your early 20s because of the reasons I just stated like getting out of school and now being like okay I have to make something of myself um, and I forget what where I was going with that but um yeah just feeling like I need to be an adult and um feeling insecure about my like creativity and inner worlds for that reason because it feels childlike and that shouldn't be bad that's actually a really good thing um but it still feels like a bad thing and I think also too with um like there's certain things that I feel insecure about not having done yet like I'm not in a relationship I still live at home um and to being I don't know if I'm asexual or I'm just scared of intimacy um I definitely know that I'm scared of intimacy and so yeah it's kind of hard because I don't know what is trauma and what is just me um but that is also one thing regardless I still feel insecure about like I feel like a child and um that's something that I've talked about with my therapist too. So yeah, just kind of like a mix of things that for me has made leaning into like my inner worlds hard. Um, just like a lot of shame and feelings of inferiority there. And um, yeah, but today when I was watching him, like just because I have been starting, I'm gonna, sorry, backtrack a little bit because I've been starting to lean back into creativity and kind of like dip my toes in. Um, and one of the big things that I've been doing, and I talked about this in the video before this, which hopefully I'll upload. I may just end up sharing this because the other video was like 30 minutes long and I was just rambling. And I think I said some important things, but um, I can't even remember what I said at this point. But um, one of the things that I've been getting back into is like creative writing. And I started working on um, a second project and it, just kind of like has been like spilling out which is the same way stats was but not as much if that makes sense this project is more like just coming out than stats was and um got a notification from heyday <laughs> i still play that game haven't as much in a while but it's um it's fun it's very relaxing um but shit what was i saying something about creativity man 
one second guys give me a hot second because this is gonna take I was just, I was talking about I literally just like completely lost my train of thought um oh creativity yeah so that's something that I've been like leaning more into lately and um it's brought a lot of excitement and that's something I feel like I haven't experienced in a while and um I know that I should like lean into it but again I still kind of feel of some fear and shame about it because again I'm like my brain has made this connection that like daydream's bad you are bad for daydream <laughs> and um that's something that my therapist has actually really encouraged my creativity because we are super alike which is so cool that I found her um and she kind of is like I would I think like the adult version of me um and so she's been very encouraging of my creativity and um but yeah and so that's something that I want to do but again there's just some roadblocks but then yeah today when I was watching my cousin and like just seeing how like I don't know happy and entertaining he was I was just like damn that's really beautiful and I was thinking about how we always like rave about childhood and how we wish we could be kids again and I think in a lot of ways we can like I really do believe that um but I think there's this shame attached to being childlike that we don't talk about. Like even things, like even also, and I'm, I've been a part of this problem just to clarify, um, but even like laughing at people who go to like Comic Con or are furries and stuff like that, like people who engage in childlike hobbies, like we look down on them for some reason. And it's so fucked because it's like, those people are having the time of their lives. Like why? I don't know. So um, that was just something that I, Kind of yeah that was like a very important um moment today like it honestly kind of did feel movie like which was funny like because i was just so taken aback by like watching him observe this whole because he's very i mean all kids are very like creative and stuff and i enjoy watching like my nieces play because it's just like so funny and reminiscent of when i was a kid but um he especially james is like super super just like creative and stuff um and i think boys too are especially like they have a lot of energy and they're very hyper um and so yeah that was just a very uh telling moment um but yeah lean into your creativity and oh that's another thing i know i already talked about this um but i started whittling it's very hard but um that was one thing that i've like another way of like dipping my toes into being like kind of childlike not that whittling is childlike but it was something that i was like is this make me weird if I do this um and I bought a butter churner and I learned how to churn butter and that was fun and um I also bought do you know those erasers those puzzle erasers that people like silly bands how they would um like people on the playground would like trade them in school and uh like so silly bands was like the main thing but then there's also like a phase of like these puzzle erasers that were like food items and animals and stuff and you could take them apart and um I always thought those were really cool and I never had the only time I ever had like silly bands or the puzzle erasers or if like people would feel bad for me and like give them to me um because I this sounds bad to being like my parents didn't buy them I don't mean it like that I think they just didn't know what they were but I always wanted them as a kid and um so I bought like a pack of 140 on Amazon and the I they're fun I'll say that they're fun um and my nieces I keep them like in two teapots because there's a lot um because I have a teapot collection which I'm gonna go on another tangent now because I don't know if I've ever talked about this um but I collect teapots I started doing that like four years ago and I get them when something good happens like something that I'm proud of so like I got one um I don't know if I got one when I finished my book I think I did um I got one when I got my job, I got one when I presented at TCC, um, I got one when I went to NCUR, I got one when I got a grant, um, even though I didn't end up using that grant because I didn't know how to do it and they never responded to my email. Another tangent. Um, but yeah, so um, that has been fun as well. But anyways, the racers are in one of my teapots and like my nieces come in, dump them on the floor and just like rip through them. Um, and it's funny that they really like being in my room, which I appreciate. Like they, they're always like, I want to go to Aunt Allie's room, which I really, like I said, I really appreciate. Cause like, I want to create like a safe space for them. Um, and I'm very proud of my room. Like I've decorated it. I have my, I think I, I have showed this before, but I have like, um, my art wall, you know what, room tour. 
I have my art wall, which has more than just art on it. it has like stuff that I'm proud of, like when I did the photos for Avangrove, um, which Avangrove was my high school. And I have my NCUR thing and I have my sticker for my business. Um, I have a plane ticket for when I went to Boston to film some things. And oh, this is something cool that I don't know if I've showed. This portrait that I did a little bit ago um, in March. Wow, I didn't realize it was that recent. Um, and then this that I'm super proud of is the uh, storyboard for my first book. Um, I'll probably end up making a second one for um, the project that I'm working on now. But yeah, and I have this little fountain that I got for Christmas, which I wanted a fountain for so long. And now that I'm over here, I'm just gonna show you guys my puzzle erasers and the whole um, thing of them. Yeah, my nieces love to play with them. And then I have one down here, which I have next to the books. I have a lot of books too, but um, yeah, fun. I think that's everything. Now I'm just rambling, but um, yeah, hopefully this is kind of illuminating food for thought. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Wawa, gonna get a drink, gonna get some chips, which I'm super looking forward to. I love getting little treats for myself. That shit is so fun. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean my room and I'm probably gonna watch something on like Hulu. But um, yeah, have a good weekend.